Hey guys, welcome to Gamer Point. This is your host Amok, and today I have my Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 with me, and I have got this MIUI 6.9.15 update on that. This is an update for the developer ROM and not the stable ROM, and it's the first update that I have got after the Marshmallow update. So as you can see, it's pretty small update, just of 51 megabytes. So let me quickly show you what's coming new in this update. In the description, it says that you can set your lock screen wallpaper as the conversation background in the dialer app, and also you can delete the synced recording from the device, keeping them in the cloud. So that's new in the recorder app. Then for the home screen, it says that you can exit recents automatically to take the call, and for the settings, it says added password verification for the second space. So these are some small changes in this update. There are not so many changes, so let me just quickly download this first. So as you can see, now the update is being downloaded. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly skip this screen to the next part when the download part will over. Now the update is downloaded. It took only two minutes, but as you can see, there's something new called as decrypting. So basically, it's just decrypting the update. But I'm seeing something like this first time while updating my phone. Now the device is ready to reboot. So I'll just quickly install this update, and then I'll show you if we can find any new changes after the update. So guys, now the update is applied and the device is rebooted. Now let me just quickly unlock this first. So neither on the lock screen as well as on the home screen we found any new changes. So the interface is still the same, no changes here. So let me just quickly go to this update app first. So as you can see, it says the device is successfully updated and no update available. So let me just quickly go to this what's new first. And again here it shows the same description of the update. So basically there are just changes in these particular areas and not the entire phone. Because basically the description it shows sometimes is not correct. Last time when I got the Marshmallow update, it showed the description something else, and when I installed the update, I found that the device was updated to Marshmallow, which was not mentioned in the description. So if we just quickly take a look at the description, it says that you can set your lock screen wallpaper as the conversation background. That means you can set the lock screen wallpaper as the caller ID for all your phone calls. Then next it says that they have optimized the home screen so the recent application will be automatically exit when you will get a phone call. Then also they have added some password verification for moving data between the second spaces, and also from now on the recordings will be automatically synced to the cloud backup and will be deleted from the phone storage to keep the storage space up. But apart from that, not so much changes. But as this update was just of 51 megabytes, so I don't think so there will be much changes. So let me just quickly go to the settings first to show you the about the device page. The setting page interface is still the same. So as you can see, the MIUI 8 version is MIUI 8 Global 6.9.15 Beta. The Android version is still 6.0.1 Marshmallow, but the security patch level is not changed. It's still of July 1st. So it's kind of disappointing because the September is about to end, and we are still having the July security patch level. So as you can see, the device is still on Marshmallow, but apart from that, nothing has changed. The interface and icons are still the same. There's no changes here. Then, if we take a look at the notification center, then here also the toggles are at the same position. No extra toggle has been added, so basically there is no change here also. So let's just quickly check the storage whether any extra space has been added or not. So the storage is 9.31 gigabytes, so it just improved by few margin. Because I still remember earlier I was having 9.02 gigabytes space, so now the storage is 9.31 gigabytes, so just hardly 300 megabytes has been added. So that's a small change, but not something great. But now one thing I want to show you is that, as you can see, the cache data is 323 megabytes here. If you clear that, then you might expect that it will add 300 megabytes in the storage space. So basically, a phone storage will be 9.6 GB, as 9.3 plus 300 will be 9.6 GB. But that's not the case. So as you can see, when the cache data will be cleared, now the available space on my phone is 9.97 gigabytes. That is almost 10 GB. So basically, it added more than 600 MB data on my phone. So that's nice also because you get extra storage space on your phone. But I think it's not accurate. The result is not accurate. It showed something else, and the result is something else only. Then if we take a look at the battery status, I don't know whether the battery has been improved after this update or not. Because many users, including me, also were complaining that the battery backup has been decreased after the Marshmallow update. So now the screen on time is two hours since the last charge. So let's hope that the battery backup should improve after this update, because Redmi Note 3 is known for its battery capacity only, the huge 4000 mAh battery. But after the MIUI 8, the battery backup is decreasing, so that's not a good thing in my opinion. 
So that was a quick look of this MIUI 86.9.15 update. It's not a must have update but still is always nice to keep your phone up to date. So again that's all for this video. If you have any particular questions regarding this update then you can ask them in the comment section below. Do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe Gamer Point for more tech tips and tricks videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is your host Amok signing off. Bye bye and take care.